Um, I'm, uh, I'm Wen Yan and from uh, Birmingham City University. And today I present actually my PhD work about uh, the wireless passive soil or surface acoustic sensors, wave sensor delay line for the temperature and processes first pressure sensors for the monitored water distribution system. As the previous two speakers, basically we are monitoring environment. The, my application basically is water pipe. Uh, the motivated behind this is because we secure a one horizon 2020 fund for smart water, called the smart water project. One of the objective we develop uh, energy efficient, uh, like a sensing system for water pipe. And then that's the initiative to us to find the investigate work type of a sensing system for the pipe, uh, for the special water pipe. You, the, the, the previous presenter already mentioned because of the pipes under the ground, current situation is like they are, the sensor locations deployed very sparse, sparsely. So it's like they are big distance just from the manhole, you have a main sensors and c uh, collect all the sensors, uh, pressure data and so water quality data. So the water company, we, the aim is in order to uh, detect or monitor the, the main pipes, the performance or leaks or the, some other uh, abnormal events. So they like to have a more intense, the density uh, sensor deployment. Also, they like to have something like continuous monitoring. So that is a, a motivation behind this, is the, the student works done. So we uh, investigate one type of sensor called uh, uh, wireless passive surface acoustic wave sensor. Uh, one reason is exactly the same, is we want to have finding low cost energy efficient sensors could be easy to deploy on the, fly, on the pipe. That's basically the main reason. So why the saw? Because um, we uh, saw the key feature for this is could be activated by the RF signals and no power, no need power for this kind of a, a sensing. So that's the passive wireless saw we selected for aiming to develop one type or design one type of source sensor to attach to the, on the pipe densely and then to c collect the information from pressures and temperatures, so far from pressure and temperatures. And then, yeah, that's the, that's the reason. There is two type of uh, things and the G's uh, already presented resonic. Why we're choosing delay line because one way is because we're only available to manufacture that one, uh, fabricate that sensors. Or another reason is because it's low cost and resonate as well. Uh, so we uh, that's the potential. We want to replace current current sensor and deploy more like cheap low cost sensors using the saw. Okay, that's the motivation behind and problem behind. Sorry. Why? <laughs> Why can't? Hey, Why can't next? Uh, okay. Okay, there is a re uh, lot of related work for the source already because it's uh, been a 10 years already applied different kind of uh, applications. Um, especially for temperature sensor and pressure sensor using source and different fabrications uh, around. So this is like a research paper relate, related to the temperature sensors and flow sensors and pressure sensors. And the last paper especially for the pipe, they, they are aiming to a smart pipe, manufacture on the pipe. For, uh, but the reason trying using MAMS uh, other ways as well. Okay. Uh, Simple approach for us to thinking is uh, saw sensors, you have actually de uh, designed IDTs and transducers. So the transducer, you have a transducer embedded with antennas and then you design the reflectors and the three reflector design, the one is look after the pressures, two is, is compensate temperatures because they are related. 
then uh, this will be this is small manufacturers. This actually is linking to uh, Harbin Institute of Technologies, and they developed something about this. And then we use this to characterize it could be used on the water pipe. That's basically the work. Then um, we uh, obviously the alternative chosen is important impact our performance for the characteristic of different things. So the key thing is when we're changing the temperature or pressures, the, the source wave change. And then when they receive the signal response, the freeze will be changed. According to that freeze change, you could calculate the difference between the pressure change and different uh, the temperature change. So basically this, uh, and then we'll be aiming to some pipe networks, not this stage yet. So we're just a small uh, initial stage for that, for the student work. And that's the principle for this uh, delay line source sensors. So we manufactured ID, uh, fabric IDTs in the middles and set up three reflectors. And then these setup could be changed, depends, depends how we um, uh, fabricate it and thinking the performance. So that's the performance of this equation is how to calculate the temperatures difference and the pressure difference. These are, obviously this is linking to the uh, wavelengths of the soils and alpha and beta is <laughs> the same thing as a sort um, as a son, a son, a resonators. Okay, so this is a principle we we use to calculate on the characteristic about this type of soil sensors. Um, okay, that's our uh, experiment. The student uh, actually do the experiment in the Harvey Institute of Technologies, and then um, they try in two, two types. One is trying in the air, so these type of sensors in the air, how they wireless, how they are uh, uh, sensing the pressure, air, using air pressures changing to sensing the pressures and temperatures. And then uh, we have a, probably not very easy to see. That's a small uh, glass pipe. Actually, it's a two two pipe together in in between is air. And uh, you can you you can have air or waters. So these kind of things, small uh, source on the top, it's not touching the water. That's the, another issue. So it can't be uh, in the water. So we uh, verify this type of uh, like performance for this census. Okay, uh, some results uh, we use is like have some results. One is kind of the first on the left is kind of we test wired because obviously wire have a strong powers so that's the the performance like this. Then we are without wired using wireless obviously attenuation is done very much for the type of that delay line census. Uh, that's one of the result we can prove um, wireless do need to be kind of a enlarge, the, sig the signal need to be a proper processed. Mm -hmm. uh, the second one is, th this is three, another three type of uh, diagram is the reflectors. The reflectors, because uh, when w this is like a when red one is on the airs, the reflector R1, R2, R3 is how the reflections, the signal response. And then the in the water one, we're filling the, the pipes in between the waters and then changing the pressures and changing the temperatures. That's uh, the performance of that reflector signals response. Look like they, the water and airs would be not much difference. That's from our experiment. Um, that's the one. Another one, according that frequent uh, signal response, according to the approach we are using to calculate the difference between the pressures and different to temperature and compensate by the temperatures. It look like um, uh, quite linearly. Uh, this, <laughs> but 
obviously we are, we are just sample limited time, some, some, some limited time, so my behalf need to be uh, like recalibrated, that these kind of things. But can be proved that when we change in the temperatures, obviously the signal phase change, that's probably the, we think it is more linearly than the, than the nonlinear. And then the, the freeze delay for the pressure is similar kind of thing as well. Yeah, that's the, basically we uh, designed that source sensors and trying to put, put in the environment of like water pipe and air uh, and the air as well to, 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 to try to measure the temperature and the pressures according to this kind of uh, approach. Okay, so that's our conclusion. I quite, because this is a, a student's first stage uh, investigation, so quite simple. It's kind of like are they finding uh, kind of a soil sensor could be used in the water pipe. I mean, they're aiming to uh, characteristic performance further and to redesign the soil sensors, rethinking how to design the ITTs and the reflectors, and probably need to be extra material, thinking the material itself. Um, that's the thing. Um, yeah, that's basically is a collaboration work between the UK's and EU fundings and one of the Chinese patterns. Yeah, that's that's it. Uh, <laughs> any questions might be need to answer by my students.